Yo, what is good, everybody? So before I get into the matchup, I just want to mention we did make a couple of trades. So after last week's showing, which again, shout out to Sally Mumble, but yeah, that was rough on our part. Um, we did end up making some changes. So I ended up dropping Muck and also Knackle Stack, Rip Knackle Stack uh, came to a game. Muck did not come to any games, <laughs> but I decided that I needed something that was a little bit better against something that had stab fairy and stab psychic uh with like calm mind and stuff like that and specifically with magic bounce as well so basically if anybody had picked up espion and was like terra fairy or if we had another matchup with sally mumble we needed another answer so i decided to pick up rev of room and also pick up carbink and carbink is actually going to be our other terra captain so carbink is going to replace the uh mu or not muck the knackle stack as a terror captain so fingers crossed we have a little bit better matchup into fairies so <laughs> yeah that was that was definitely a bit rough last week i'm sorry for the poor showing but hey it happens you bounce back which by the way is going to lead us into this week's matchup so this week we are playing the homie primal rush uh primal i've known for almost three years now which is kind of wild to think about we've played in a bunch of different leagues uh, I think we've played once in Wi-Fi, and that was back in UGL Season 1, which was dope. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. So Primal did take over for Polo. Polo had to drop for some personal reasons, but it's all good. We got Primal here, and I am super excited to be battling him. So I'll definitely make sure to link Primal's channel in the description below. And yo, go check out his side of the battle. Go check out all of his content. Primal's awesome. Like, like I said, that's my homie. So please, please, please go show him all the love. But anyway, let's get into it. So we are facing this ridiculous Sun team. Uh, I don't know what to do. I know, like, I don't know what's coming, but this is the team that we're bringing. So I just want to give you all a heads up. This team, again, I'm not super sure what's going to happen here, but looking at his team, he's got a lot of threats, especially in Sun. I mean... He's got the Great Tusk. He's got the Walking Wake. He's got stuff like Toxtricity, which actually Electro does really well into being soundproof, so that's good. But yeah, this is a this is a scary team. So I'll go through really quick. So we've got Slow King, obviously Chili Reception to reset the Sun. We've got Psychic and Surf, just because those two moves hit pretty well. And then we do have Slack Off as well, just to be able to recover on things. We have the Safety Goggles. Uh, prankster clef key and it's safety goggles because we don't want the lilligant to put us to sleep that is something that is actually really scary is stuff getting put to sleep especially if we terra the electrode which i do kind of plan on doing early uh if we terra the electrode and then we allow basically anything on our team outside of the clef key to get put to sleep clef key is also going to uh, be a check to the Weavile if it does come, so that is something to keep in mind. And if Tusk comes in on the Klefki, we actually do have sort of enough bulk to take the, the, the take CC depending on what its investment is. And also we have Magnet Rise, so we will be immune to all ground moves for some amount of turns, which is nice. So there is that. Next... <laughs> Next, we have the Iron Valiant, and I'm sort of not sure exactly how I want to do this this week. We have Valiant and we have Jugulus. Both are really good into the match in the matchup, uh, into his team. However, I do want to make sure that I keep one of them to clean and one of them to kind of help break. So it'll really sort of depend on the matchup and how it plays out. Uh, that said, Valiant is faster than both Tusk and Walking Wake if they are... Uh, both photosynthesis, so that is something to keep in mind. But Moonblast plus Psycho Cut and Close Combat kind of just hit everything, so I figured this is probably my best sort of collection of moves to go with, and then Sword Dance, obviously, to just make sure that those physical moves are just honestly taking out the, uh, the threats. So there is that. Um, Electrode... I thought about going Electric Terrain, I'm not going to lie, but I decided instead I would go Reflect, and we have Grass Knot, we have Volt Switch, and we have Thunderbolt. Um, actually, I'm thinking about this, I might go with Terra Blast. I might do a last minute switch and switch up Reflect to Terra Blast, because I think Terra Blast is actually really good in this matchup, 
the the ground typing hits like the torkoal and different things like that but we'll see i might switch it up it also hits like muck and stuff like that we'll see what happens um next we've got the cleavor and i do have aerialist just in case he does try to switch in on the cleavor with the great tusk i will say i'm gonna kind of feel it out because if he's I, that would probably be like a later a, a later game catch, right? Like being able to catch the Great Tusk with Aerial Ace. It does do 50%-ish with Expert Belt. And I think that for me is more than enough. Um, otherwise, we're just U-turn, Night Slash for the Bronzong, and Stone Axe just to get Hazards up. And then last but certainly not least, we do have the Iron Jugulus, which just has four attacks. So Dual Stab, we aren't Hurricane this week just because he's going to almost definitely bring the sun and we don't really want to deal with the sun uh and like cutting the chance of hitting hurricane that'll be kind of rough so we are air slash and we do have dark pulse for just i mean being able to hit things with stab as well as being able to hit the bronzong in case it's heat proof um and then we have earth power flamethrower just because those kind of hit the entirety of the team really well so yeah like i said overall i'm feeling pretty good about the team but we'll see what happens uh, our only hazards on the team are uh, Stealth Rocks from Cleavor via Stone Axe. So I do want to try to position Cleavor in a way where it can click Stone Axe kind of early. But that Great Tusk is going to be a problem. So yeah, I, like I said, I do think I am going to swap Reflect for Terra Blast. But other than that, the team is looking and feeling good. And I will catch y'all when we start up the matchup. All right, so we are back, and I did make one other small change on top of adding Terra Blast. I also swapped out the item on the cleavor to Boots, because I started looking at it, and, like, him getting rocks up is pretty likely, so I wanted to make sure we weren't taking a bunch of, sort of, unnecessary chip. So let's see what he brings. Okay, so he does bring the Toxtricity and the Muck. Oh, okay. No Bronzong. Okay, that's good. That means... Rocks coming up are probably Torkoal or... Yeah, this is fine. Rocks coming up would either be Torkoal or would be um, Tusk. So I'm pretty okay with leading with the Electrode. So we'll see what happens here. So I think we lead Electrode. We can Vault out. Um, if the Tusk comes in, if it's booster speed, then like... It's booster speed. Um, it doesn't kill Electrode if we Terra. And then if it's booster anything else, we kill the Grass Knot. So. All right. Um, still, I'm a little worried about the Lilligant. But we do have the Safety Goggles. Uh, we do have the Safety Goggles Clef Key. All right. Let's, yeah, this is the lead. This is definitely, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about this, so. I feel like you're pretty good about the Electrode. I do like the fact that I went Boots last minute because on the Cleavor. Just because I think Tusk does come in relatively freely. Torkoal does come in. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, Hopefully he locked in. Well, good luck. Have fun to Primal. Uh, I'm super excited for this. This is, this is going to be good. Whew. All right, so let's see what he leads. I have no idea what he's going to lead. He leads with the muck. Okay. He leads with the muck into our electro lead. So we'll get some, we'll get some idea. Like we'll get some idea as to what kind of set this is. If we don't see any black sludge, then it's probably the, uh, it's probably going to be a AV set. We'll see what happens. So that does decent damage. Um, I expect he clicks knockoff here. I still think we go into this. We go into the cleavor. It's ice punch. Ooh, okay. And he is Black Sludge. All right. That's good to know. So I'm guessing he switches here. 
Um, I do want to get hazards up here, so I will go Stone Axe. Yeah, he probably switches into the Tusk. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, we do get our hazards up, which is nice. Um, okay, he's lefties. That is good to know. So he's probably a bulkier... He's probably a bulkier tusk then. We can U-turn out on this. I doubt he's going to want to hit us here. He probably spins. That's my guess. My guess is that he's going to spin here. Um, we'll know he has bulk if we if we're out first. Like if we if we U turn out before this, he's probably expecting either a double. Uh, he does spin. Okay, that's fine. So he does spin here. This does allow us to go into pretty much this allows us to go into our yeah this is gonna allow us to go into it's gonna allow us to go into this iron jugulus there we go that's the name of this thing <laughs> i could not think of it Okay, so he's going to see that we are booster energy, and he probably goes into muck. We're clicking air slash here. So he knows we're booster speed now. There's no way he can stay in on this. So we'll see what happens. But I think he's got to switch this out, because we are still faster. And risking it would just be kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think he would risk Tusk this early, especially because Cleav Cleavor's still around. So, we'll see what happens. Yep, that makes sense. I, ma I imagine the muck comes in. It goes into Torkoal. Interesting. Okay, that makes sense. Set the sun. Okay, wow, that did big damage. Um, I kind of want Earth Power. What comes in here? Ooh, I actually should have Flamethrowered. I should have flamethrowered expecting the Lil again. Oh. Okay. He gets rocks up. That's fine. Um, I am going to flamethrower here expecting the Lil again to come in. There's no way he lets Torkoal go down right now. There's no way. There's no way he lets Torkoal go down this early. There's, there's just no way. Yeah. He goes into... Show me the Lillian. Oh, it's the Muck. Okay, that's fine. But I can't risk... I can't risk the Ice Punch coming in on this. Um... Hmm. He's probably clicking Knock. You know what? How much is Ice Punch doing? Ice Punch is not doing all that much to us. What's Earth Power again? Fuck it. Yeah. He poison jabs. Oh, okay. And he gets the poison. Okay. That's a little rough, but that's fine. Um, I think we can cover our bases and click Flamethrower here. We can cover our bases and click Flamethrower here. Because Flamethrower will kill. And um, okay, so Jug gets a kill, and Muck is down. So I'm guessing that what comes in here is going to be the Lilligant. That's my guess. My guess is the Lilligant comes in. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. The Lilligant does come in. Okay. So if this thing's Terra Ice, it kills us. But we also don't want it to Quiver Dance. Let me see. What is... Oh, it's this button. What do we need this for? We have answers to Tusk. 
We've already used our... You know what? Yeah, I don't want this thing to... Oh, it is Terra. Okay. Is it Terra Ground? Is it Terra Ice? It's probably Ice. Yeah. Terra Ice makes sense. So, that's understandable. That's the way it hits us. So, it's gonna... It's gonna Terra Blast here, probably. Yep. The good thing is... This thing has no way... Uh, so, Lilligan's gonna get a kill. But... I don't think it gets Weather Ball. I don't think that regular Lilligant gets Weather Ball in Scarlet Violet. So, I think... Yeah, it doesn't get Weather Ball. So, I think Klefki is a pretty free switch. And yeah, they, they do get Rock's damage off on us. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and just fire off a Dazzling Gleam. Oh, they go into Tox here. Interesting. I should have clicked Psychic. What does he want to do with this thing? Oh, I should have clicked Psychic. Damn. That would have been a better play. I don't know why I clicked Gleam. Um... I am gonna click Psychic here, though. I hope I'm not forgetting some something. This might be specs. I should have probably calc the specs damage. Man, I wish I would have clicked Psychic there. Now he knows we're not lefties. He doesn't know we could be light clay. If he Volt switches here, that's not the end of the world. I do need this to have some help for... If he specs, this is actually going to kill. If he specs, this is going to be rough. But, yeah, because that would be a specs for drive. He Volt switches. <whistles> yeah, that's definitely specs damage. Okay, but now Tusk should come in, right? I'm guessing Tusk comes in here. Um, we do want to save this just in case for later. Because it does give us the Prankster T-Wave. So, I will have to decide what I want to go into. If Wake comes in, we can pretty cleanly go into Slowking. Um, so that's good. We at least have Slowking for Walking Wake. But yeah, that's definitely Specs Toxtricity. But the good thing there is, once we Terra our Electrode, we're now pretty much in the perfect spot against that. Okay. So this thing comes out. Um, it is special attack boosting. We do get a psychic off on it. That does nothing. Sunlight fades. Protosynthesis wears off. That's good. So it is special attack boosting. He's probably going to double, but we have to go in sloking. <laughs> we have to go into this. Yeah. I should have T-waved. He's going to probably go Tox. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I should have. I definitely should have called that out. So we have to sack something, unfortunately. Um, Cleavor means we don't get our rocks up. That's the only thing that lets in... That is rough. This is definitely a rough spot to be in. Um, that was on me. I should have terrored early. I don't know why I didn't. Because then we're always a switch in with uh, Electrode. But if they catch if he catches us with a stray sludge bomb, we're screwed. Um, I think we have to go into this. Yeah, I think we have to go into this. We have to let Thibor go down, unfortunately. We can't let our answer to wake go down here. Oh, he just raw clicked overdrive. Damn. I was worried about a potential sludge bomb. But, okay. So, Tox gets a kill. Um, I think we show our Terra here. 
And what do we have? I think we just click roll. Yeah, I think we can click, we can Terra and click Bolt Switch here. We are soundproof, so we bypass this, which is nice. Um, if he goes wake, we get good damage. Okay. That makes me feel better. That makes me feel a lot better. He goes into Tusk. Okay. Really? Okay. Sun is not up, so pretty okay with this. We know where he's lefties. Yeah. So we know he's lefties. And honestly, anything that comes in, I'm okay with, with this. Electrode with the ground helmet looks so silly. Okay, we take Tusk. That is huge. <sighs> Getting Great Tusk there is huge. That is very, very big. Um, so I'm guessing now Torkoal comes in. I'm guessing the Torkoal comes in. We're still looking good for the Valiant Endgame, I think. I think we're still looking good for the Valiant Endgame. Because, yeah, if Toxtricity comes in, we kill it. Like, this thing answers Toxtricity pretty easily. Okay. We should be able to vault out on this. There's no way this is Spark right now. There's no way. We Volt Switch on this pretty cleanly. And we go back into our Clef Key here. We're going to take a little bit of Rock's Chip. Oh, that kills. Wow. I didn't think that was going to kill. Okay. So, I have to start thinking about sun turns. I have to start thinking about sun turns. It's Life Orb. Okay. I definitely have to start thinking about sun turns. Because... Yeah, I should have went into... Damn, I should have actually went into Valiant here. I should have went into Valiant there. Um, I mean, we go back into Electrode. That might have been a, a pretty big misplay. I should have went into Valiant there. Because now... We're in a little bit of a rough spot. I don't think this thing kills from here, though. I don't think... Like, yeah. Tor Lilligan Endgame is going to be rough. I let I let this take way too much chip. So now he goes into... He goes into Torkoal. Yeah. That's going to be a roll. It's not great. It's not great at all. Um, into Slow King. That's actually not crazy. Um, hmm. Can we stall out Sun Turns is the question. I think we might be able to. I think we might be able to do this. So, he is Giga Drain. He's shown that. But we can chili. So we live one. And then we chili out. And we should be good. If he's Leaf Storm. I forgot about Sleep Powder. Mm, I forgot about Sleep Powder. Bruh. I forgot about Sleep Powder. Okay, so that's bad. Um, 
I totally forgot about Sleep Powder. That was stupid of me. Okay, well, we do live one. We live a Giga Drain. First turn wake up, please. Please, a first turn wake up. Damn it. Okay, well, hmm. He can just Giga Drain. Okay, hold on. I need to run a calc really quick. So, Walking Wake. We know he's special attack. Grass Knot doesn't kill. Moonblast might. Okay, we gotta go into Electrode here. We gotta go into Electrode here. Because we have to regenerate, basically. Oh, this is so rough. This is so rough. Oh my goodness, I hate it. Solar Beam! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well... That, yeah, we're about to get beat by Lil again. We let, oh, I let freaking Klefki take too much damage. I let Klefki take way too much damage, and that killed me. That absolutely killed me. That absolutely killed me. Letting Klefki take too much damage ruined me. Um, There's only one turn of sun left. Maybe we can still pull this off. Uh, I don't think so. I think Lilligan's going to be able to kill us. We actually need this. We need to wake up and... Uh, yeah, this is going to kill. This is probably going to kill. Oh, that's... That is rough. That is really rough. Actually, no. Let's see. Let's see. Because Sun should be gone, right? No, Sun's not gone. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's Heat Rock. Duh, Sun's not gone. Oh, that's so rough. I I misplayed around that. I should not have switched in. Yeah, I misplayed around that hard. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so mad at myself for that. I misplayed around that so hard. GG to Primal. Yeah, I misplayed around... I misplayed around that so damn hard, but it's all good. Um, we're gonna go down 3-0. I don't know what I'm doing. I, yeah, I misplayed around that so damn hard. I should have kept Klefki around. I I don't know why I switched into that Giga Drain there. It's all good. It happens. We gotta bounce back. Um, that's gonna bring us to one and two minus four, I believe, which is rough. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. If y'all like, the content please hit the like button please hit the subscribe button um leave some comments like i said i misplayed hard around that lil again it is what it is all right everybody i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one take it easy peace